we're releasing fear and insecurity in your animal today. And for that, we're going to be looking at a neuroemotional point. So when we have a buildup of emotions in the body that aren't released effectively or 100%, they will be stored in certain points, particularly joints. Joints hold a lot of our emotions, humans as well. And the joint that holds a lot of fear and anxiety is the ankle joint. So you would place your thumb or two fingers to get a balance in polarity. So thumb is neutral and our digits are either positive, negative, positive or negative. So you place your two fingers or your thumb on the ankle joint of the hind leg and you rub as firmly as the animal will allow. So by firmly, I don't mean hard, but I don't mean very, very soft. However, if the animal won't even allow you to go there, then you can place your palm as close to the ankle joint as possible. If the animal gives a reaction, like Fudge gave a reaction now, but continues with that, it might be that the animal is not appreciating what is happening, not responding well. So you will need to practice reading your animal and trust your instinct. If you feel you need to stop, then stop. So a good way to work with the neuroemotional points is to use them when the animal is calm. So maybe after a meal, after all the activity has died down and the animal is going into a natural sleeping position, you can then go to the necessary area. So here, the ankle joint to release the fear and anxiety and insecurity. And you rub, if you can, for 20 to 30 seconds. Hey, Fudge, is that okay? It seems like he's still good with it. So a close-up, just to show the ankle points of the hind leg that is stimulated in a circular motion, any direction, with a nice firm touch. Not a hard, deep pressure. And if possible, not too light. If the animal doesn't allow, then you go above the area and you can move in a circular motion or keep it still. And then if we can, we want to move to the opposite side of the body as well. So we gently get underneath here. Okay, so I can feel that ankle joint there and I've got two fingers on there. And I'm checking in with Fudge, is he okay with that? Looks like he's fine with that. If he wasn't, I would stop because when we treat one side of the body, we get a 30% benefit naturally on the opposite side of the body. So don't worry if you can't get to the opposite side of the body. And just continue to monitor your animal, making sure that he or she is accepting this treatment and if for whatever reason they're not, respect that and leave it for another time. You can also release these emotional points on yourself. So you can go to your own ankle and even work the entire area around the ankle as well as the joint while breathing deeply because our animals are receptive to what's going on within us. So when we are receiving some balancing in our body and in our emotional state, the animal will pick up on that and benefit from that too. So one final point to remember is to repeat this exercise with your animal on a regular basis. So not to only use it when you notice that the animal is experiencing insecurity or fear, but to let the animal get used to it at times of peace and calm. So when you have a moment during the day and you see the animal is relaxed, to go and introduce the neuroemotional releasing point for the fear and the insecurity. And you practice this a few times as feels comfortable to you and the animal. On a regular basis, remember you are building up in the body and in the brain as well, a positive way of responding to stress. 
so that when there is a moment of fear and high anxiety and then you come in fudge are you okay and you come in now and you want to release that emotion the animal will be used to that and be more accepting of you to actually go to that point and right now I'm getting the information from Fudge that he's had enough of this point being worked and it's very important to remember for neuroemotional points not more than 20 to 30 seconds at a time because otherwise you can actually overstimulate it and you reignite that emotion. So that was Fudge's wonderful way of saying, you know what, you've done it already, it's enough now. So thank you Fudge for reminding us of that.